people forget that Gandito is not just like, oh, hey, I'm just some new Viet Grand Blue Versus boy. Like, if you've been around, you know who I am. No, and then Diaphone, yeah, exactly like you're talking about, new blood. Um, you know, I, I first saw Diaphone in BB Tag, right? We're on the start of BB Tag's lifespan. Has gone through Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Has also gone through uh, GG Strive at this point. Like, things are really picking up for, for Diaphone. And, I mean, making it top eight winners despite playing so many games at this point? Yeah. Like, come on. In two games here at CEO, top eight of both Strive and Grand Blue. How does he do it? Just a monster. But Gandito is a one-game warrior. You yeah. know? GBVS is his baby. Putting so much time here into that game and Zeta. never staying, never going away from Zeta. Since the beginning on this character, one of the best Zetas in the world. And Diaphone, Zoe, really fun to see that character being the, the, the main representative yeah. of her but also known for picking around the cast at least early on as they were coming out. Yeah, yeah. But has fully committed to the Zoe, especially because that's just been his bread and butter through and through, and that's gonna make for one exciting match as we see both of these just really prolific, and like, characters that really get a good representation of this game because you have, like, Zeta with the really flashy combos, the really strong pressure, and then you have the same from Zoe. Both these characters thrive off this pressure off knockdowns. Yes, yeah. That can be so difficult to deal with where you have Zoe with her dragon assists, where she's up with these really tricky meaties, but then you have these like tricky jump-ins from Zeta, where you're gonna have to guess high-low from both of them. So we're just gonna, who gets these knockdowns? Who gets to run their game plan? And basically who can oppress the other because they don't want to play no fair neutral. Yeah. They're not here to play honest footsies. We're here to get mixed, smixed, and just all around blended. Yeah, and no, almost definitely. I mean, like, especially with Gandito, um, I actually got to sit down, watch him in training mode for a bit. Uh, obviously, training mode versus uh, Zoe specifically, because, you know, you got to get rid of the character that you're about to fight in terms of hitbox, because Zeta is one of the only characters that has a fuzzy instant overhead, mm -hmm. right, in the game. Uh, this game is very much not usually about, like, hellacious mix-up that you're used to and say, like, Marvel or something like that, right? And so, but Zeta does actually have something that is legitimately, you better have been blocking it correctly before I even did it, otherwise you're boned, right? Uh -huh. And so, Candido has also recently found a way, as of this tournament, to make that instant overhead uh, fuzzy do more damage than it did previously. Um, yeah, so um, he found a way to make uh, Skybound Art after the instant overhead do uh, animation, which gives you a thousand more damage, which is like 10% in this game, right? So it's it's going to be heavy if he's able to connect it, but the problem is if he misses that fuzzy, he's slim pickings, right? Like he is just yeah, out in the open. He is ready to get that. punished. And if someone's gonna react to that kind of whiff, that kind of Zoe block on there even, that's gonna be someone like Diaphone. So let's see how this plays out. Which one of these two amazing players will meet Ren in winner's finals here? Skyfarers, hold on to your seats because this is gonna be a match for the ages. Yeah, no, I mean, I can't believe we already started out with like such a crazy match with Tega and Ren. Like, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna have like the heart to finish this. <laughs> but, you know, here we are. We're doing it. No button checks required. Viejos, Gandido. Versus Diaphone. Doing it for Puerto Rico, doing it for the old men. Already, first significant hit. Going to Gandito, finding the EX Spear, putting the corner, but nice tech from Diaphone. Has to hold the pressure in the corner, but dragons out and makes the space. All oh, like, the 2H right Ooh. there. Wow, and that was like so immediate. Got hit on the overhead right now, putting Gandito in forward, using the unique just to try and keep the pressure going, but there's that dragon charge. Yeah, 2H of your own. Okay, great grab. Diaphone just trying to take that advantage in the spacing. Oh, but Gandito got out of the distance of the laser. Great spacing from himself, and now we just have safe pressure here. Gandito need one hit. What a reaction! Oh my goodness! And you know, I, I, I wouldn't really. Oh, I was gonna say I wouldn't really call like Zoe Dragonfall to be too high of recovery, right? But I mean, Gandito had the perfect timing, having the perfect timing on the thrust as well, taking that first round, looking pretty good, not. Not like too too in control, but never never feeling like he's uh he's he's too worried about it. Not at all. The old man reactions looking perfect right now for Kimito. Yeah. Hey, when you're looking for one thing specifically, Ooh. but that 2H unfortunately taking a while to start up on that one. You go for the mix-up, it's time. Okay. Try to go for the shimmy on that one, but Diaphone recognizing, immediately mashing out. Got the hit! That was gonna be plus frames anyway, so either way, Diaphone was good on it, but nice! Yeah, makes it so that you cannot charge the dragon. Yeah, every time, recognizing 
whatever Diaphone is going for that, just trying to take advantage of a great anti-air. Oh, big drop. Ooh, baby time. Punished there from Diaphone, taking the small life lead, but the reaction, they're getting out of it with the super, blowing through the mix. That was so crazy, Gandito on, on point in every little aspect, even on just like blowing up pressure. Yeah, and yeah, just really trying to use these charges, but there's the 2M on the run up. Remember in this game, there's dash recovery. You have to cancel it into spot dodge, roll, or a button. You do not have a choice. You cannot block immediately, right? Exactly. I think the, 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 the amount of checks, the amount of just like, I'm going to take my turn, their turn back, you have that going on, but always just like stealing the turn back. Candido's been a macro on that. That's been probably the, the biggest factor so far in this set. Let's see if Diaphone can kind of prevent those turns from being stolen. But again, you see him trying to put that advantage, but Candido calls it out. Yeah, that's one of the great things about playing a character with armor is that you steal turns all the time, right? So, I mean, Gandito is just playing to the character's strength when stealing turns at this point. And okay, so one mix up after this, that's going to be a bit weird to deal with. Could be the fuzzy even. Oh. Nope, it's going to go for double overhead. Classic Zeta pressure. Every time you're scoring that, e that knockdown off the EX, you're going to do that jump unique. Yeah. Get the pogo. She can do up to three times, but she can always cancel into a jump heavy or just a jump attack to keep the overheads flowing and keep you under that pressure. Yeah. It's so like each pogo is a mid, but the problem is, is that she cannot do the next pogo and then go low, or she cannot do the, no the next pogo and go high. Same yeah. timing. So you just really got to deal with it. Pogo up. Nice block from Diaphone, but in this corner here, it's going to be scary. Busts out with the dragon call, but oh, I love that. Yeah, not actually using the dragon laser, just instead using the dragon as a hitbox, right? You may you may take a little bit of extra uh, dragon meter away from yourself, but it, what's really important is just the fact that you stopped your opponent from doing something. Okay, Rhapsody. Yeah. Nice yeah. here, and gets a full punish on there. Good damage, too. Gets a knockdown. What's the setup here? Doesn't have a dragon available. Oh, oh but the five eight. Eight. Yeah, I mean, Gambito was not ready for it, though. Nice cross up, good blocking across up. Diaphone on his last legs here. This might be four straight for Gambito, but the counter hit doesn't oh, get big drop though. Yeah, no, no micro dash, or well, maybe maybe too micro of a dash from Diaphone, to be honest. Was unable to get the super skybound art after it. I believe that would have killed. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't have. And now the scary part, next hit wins for Gambito. Any hit will go into skybound art and finish the job. A little bit harder for Diaphone to score that hit to seal it, so we'll see how it plays out. I do love that Diaphone did not try to uh, go too far past the lasers, right? Use the laser as a wall, but okay, here we go. Mix up, nice block on the low, and there is the dive. Diaphone is unfortunately going to losers, but Gandito, oh my God. Yelling, <laughs> yelling Florida. Doing it not for Puerto Florida, Rico. <laughs> doing it for Puerto Rico, doing it for all the old men. And just, you feel that passion brimming